Hi everyone and welcome back to another online Jiu Jitsu workout class. As usual we hope that everybody is doing well and staying healthy and safe in these difficult times. So let's get ready for class. Moxo. So it may. On a Up. And hands on your hip or your belt. Head to the right. Itch, me, san, shi, go, dai. Itch, me, san, shi, go. Head back, down, back, down, back, down, back, down. Look right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, tilt right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, any way you need it. Shoulders forward, itch, knee, sun, she, go, reverse, itch, knee, sun, she, go, alternating, itch, knee, sun, she, go, back, itch, knee, sun, she, go. Wish I had a belt, but I don't, <laughs> not today. Um, hands up, elbows back, itch, knee, sun, forward, itch, knee, sun, forward, itch, knee, sun, forward, reverse, itch, knee, sun, back, itch, knee, sun, back, itch, knee, sun, back. Left hom knee, hand on your imaginary belt, and the right hand forward, itch, knee, sun, she, go, reverse, itch, knee, sun, she, go, or die, itch, knee, sun, she, go, reverse, itch, knee, sun, she, go, natural stance, both arms in, itch, knee, sun, she, go, out, itch, knee, sun, she, go, and left arm knee, right arm in, itch, knee, sun, she, go, out, itch, knee, sun, she, Go, shake it in, shake it out, side to side, punch and die, itch knee, san, she, go out, itch knee, san, she, go, shake it in, shake it out, side to side, punch. Both hands, elbows against your chest, both hands in, itch knee, san, she, go out, itch knee, san, she, go, shake it in, shake it out, side to side, double punch. Hips, itch knee. Sun, she, go, run, die, hitch, knee, sun, she, go, stretch back. Forward. Back hands overhead. Forward. Chest to your right knee, itch knee, sun, she, go, rux, itch, hatch, ku, ju. Left, itch knee, sun, she, go, rux, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. And ready for torso rotations to the right. Itch knee, sun, she, go, reverse, itch. Me, San, She, Go, and come down into standing split, elbows to the mat, Hitch, Ni, San, She, Go, Rock, Sitch, Hatch, Ku, Ju, Rocking, Itch, Ni, San, She, Go, Rock, Sitch, Hatch, Ku, Ju, Back on your heels, Pivot left. Itch knee san she go ruck sitch hatch ku ju. Right. Itch knee san she go ruck sitch hatch ku ju. Back to center. Our standing split, elbows down. Itch knee san she go ruck sitch.
rocking hitch ni san shi go rock sich hatch ku jiu back on your heels left hitch ni san shi go rock sich hatch ku jiu right Sound she go rock sich hatch ku ju and come up to shikadach. Breathe in, out, in, out. Look over your right shoulder, left. Change your right foot for side kick. And die. Turn your hip more. Yeah, toward towards your knee. Towards your front knee. There you go. And toes up. Day, 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 all the way down, day, day, day. To hurt her stretch. And towards your left foot. Hitch ni san chi go rock sich hatch ku ju. Step straight, twist. Forward. Hitch ni san chi go rock sich Ku Ju Twist and Thai Forward Itch Ni San Shi Go Rock Sich Hatch Ku Ju Twist Forward Hitch ni san shi go rock sich hatch ku ju twist and die feet in front forward itch ni san shi go rock sich hatch ku ju twist Forward, hitch, ni, san, chi, go, rock, sich, hatch, ku, ju, twist, and thai. Forward, hitch, ni, san, chi, go, rock, sich, hatch, ku, ju, twist. Forward. Hitch ni san shi go rock sich hatch ku ju twist feet in front and pick them up hitch ni san shi go rock sich hatch ku ju reach deeper hitch ni san shi go rock sich hatch ku ju sit up straight twist right Left, legs apart, turn right, reach right, hitch ni san shi go rock sich hatch ku ju, left, hitch ni san shi go rock sich hatch ku ju, center, 
Ich ne san shi go ruk sich hach ku ju. And before we turn right out, just I've been telling people in class in case you missed that one. I, I get in the habit of just linking my thumbs together when I'm reaching for my feet. That way I reach evenly every time. It just it wasn't because I planned it. I always reach together and I just found myself hooking my thumbs together as I reach. So it just becomes a way of knowing that I'm stretching here and turning fully and reaching evenly as opposed to re reaching sideways like that. So even if you can't reach your foot, if you can only reach there, have both hands there as opposed to one touching and one here and then you're getting a side with twisted reach. So hands together, forward to the right, itch knee, san shi go ruck, sich hach ku ju, left, itch knee, san shi go ruck, sich hach ku ju, center, itch knee, san shi go ruck, sich hach ku ju. Now, right elbow on the mat next to your right knee, forearm on the ground, left overhead. Each knee, san, shi, go, ruck, sich, hatch, ku, ju, thigh. Each knee, san, shi, go, ruck, sich, hatch, ku, ju. Sit up straight, twist right, and left. Bring them in, right over left, grab your toes and ball the foot and rotate, clockwise, itch, knee, san, shi, go, ruck, sich, hatch, ku, ju, reverse, itch, knee, san, shi, go, ruck, sich, hatch, ku, ju. So you should be bending and flexing your toes as you're rotating your ankle. And massage your toes, ball the foot, arch and instep, heel, Half, shake, shake, shake. In the crook of your elbow, cradle it if you can. Rock the baby. Same hand to the outside of your foot. Stretch and put it down. And die. Rotate clockwise, itch, knee, san, shi, go, ruck, sich, hatch, ku, ju, reverse, itch, knee, san, shi, go, ruck, sich, hatch, ku, ju, massage your toes, ball of foot, and step and arch, heel, calf, shake, 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 cradle it, Rocking, stretch, and put it down. Okay, so this is when we would do our abdominals, uh, um, but I'm not going to do that for one more class, so I'm not going to be on my back. So we're going to move into our push up position. Ready? Hey! Push up position. Head up, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, back, down, head up, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, back, down, head up, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, back, down, head up, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, back, down, head up, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, Back, down, hold it. And again, if you're getting tired, try doing some fast breaths. And hold it again. And 
slowly down. Relax. Up. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Turn around, drop your knee. And fix whatever you need to fix. Left arm knee, go to Gash. Die. Die, EQ. Die. Die, EQ. So don't let your elbows go higher than your shoulders. And try and have your elbows even height through it. And die. So keep your fingers go higher than your shoulders if you can rotate them up in front of your nose. Hantai Shihanagi. So I've been telling people take this moment to check your hominy, bend your knees enough until you feel that your heels are starting to leave the mat and just before they leave stop there, that's your good position. Don't use your body to rock forward and backwards. Use your knees and thigh. That way you can establish within your harmony where is the perfect weight distribution. And thigh, shihanagi. Die. Die, finger wrist stretch. And shake it loose. Okay, ready for Tai Sabaki. And if you've been uh, following our classes, what we've been stressing is, especially for the senior students, come forward, dig in with the ball of foot, so that as you pivot and come back, there's almost no weight on that other foot, so you can easily transfer to 50-50 instead of rocking back. So come forward, dig in, pivot, and settle into that finished position. So ready, pitch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, zich. Catch, Q, Q, and 
Drei. Bitch. Nee. Sand. Say this way just for demonstration quickly. So again, same thing when we're doing the hitch step. We're going to come out, we're going to dig in with that ball of foot, and as we pivot, we're going to be transferring the weight onto the other foot so that we end up with a 50-50 distribution. And again, not 60-40 or anything less. So come across, dig in as the back foot is coming in, it's got very little weight on it, and we transfer as we pivot. If anything, you want a little bit more on the front if you're getting ready to go again. Ready? Hitch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Fetch. Two. Fast count, ready, itch, me, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, thai, itch, me, sun, chi, go. Rook, Sitch, Hatch, Q, Q, and Yemen. For people that missed um, Saturday's class, we did the, the Ko Ichigari, the inside small sweep, and the O Ichigari, the inside big sweep. Now we're going to do the Ko Soto, outside middle sweep and oh so so it's a big sweep so um i'm going to be posting saturday's class tonight so you can review that if you need to uh, add to this they're perfect partner classes for each other so we're going to start with doing the oh so so because it's also uh, a natural place to go from our fitting in for close the window so we're going to do our fitting in for close the window as usual but we're going to do it coming in and then we hook calf to calf and we sweep and just put your hand on the mat there not just for balance but also um, to get used to going down with uke okay, and to get used to coming all the way back up from that position so if you need to hold on to something have a wall, have a chair uh, for balance do so otherwise doing it in the air is good so just like that, uh, so it's going to be basically a two-step, we come in, hook, sweep, and back up. Technically four steps, so in, hook, sweep, and back up. But we're not going to break it down. So ready, itch, and back, knee, and back, sun, Back, she, and back, go, and back, rook, and back, sitch, and back, ha, 
stretch. And back. Ku. And back. Ju. And back. And we're going to switch sides. So let me just point out something that's a little bit common with this. Um, kind of assume that you're coming in for uh, close the window without doing the sweep and then as a fail safe you're going to follow up the sweep. So what that means is when you come in your back foot still wants to be behind your front foot. Right, you don't want to come in even ready to do the sweep because then you're just going to get knocked backwards from the hit. So you're going to come in in a usual bent forward fashion shoulder forearm then hook, then sweep. So um, unless you really know that you're going in, in which case you kind of do it all in one go, um, if your plan is to do uh, Osoto from the start. But let's do it as though we're doing it as a secondary uh, follow-up to a failed close the window, because it's one of the ones that fails the most, right? Uh, so it's always good to try, and always good to have a, a, a secondary move to go with. So ready, right foot forward, itch, and back, knee, and back, san, and back, she, and back, gu, and back, rook, Back, sitch, and back, hatch, and back, ku, and back, ju, and back. Okay, so now we're going to actually break that down just a little bit to practice the entry a little bit more, um, especially for a senior student. You don't want to be just going straight for the arm. And for those who don't know what we're doing, this is uh, Uke is throwing a roundhouse. We're coming in like this kind of deep. The inside hand, our elbow wants to go as much underneath their armpit as possible, not across their body. Right, so not here where you're holding yourself away, but underneath where you can get in close. And the other hand is taking the forearm and coming out to the wrist. So that's our basic uh, position like this. And then we're going to hook the leg and sweep. But in terms of uh, finessing that a little bit, so the, the basic is go in straight and do your block and then do the finish. What I want to do is I want to uh, come up the center and turn into that position rather than going straight to it. So if Uke is, uh, let's see, maybe this will work if I put it straight there. If Uke is there, I'm going to go straight for the center line and as I get there, as my back foot comes in, it'll turn me. So as it, my back foot catches up, it's going to go past and to the side, so it turns me out. So now I'm shoulder, forearm, instead of face. So my lead hand is going for their face, or my uh, reverse hand. My lead hand is going uh, like this. Back of your forearm onto the, uh, to catch it, because you want to catch the arm. Right, so you don't want to catch it on your soft tissue, you want to catch it on the back. Uh, I'm doing it in reverse, you want to catch it like this, and then turn over. So there's a coming in. So I do it like this, I start out with my hands like this, or like this, right? And I'll come in and turn over. So there's that hip movement, so the hip movement as you go to hitch step, you come forward. So the hand is following that, and then as the back hand, the back foot comes in, it helps you turn over and turn out. The reverse hand is going for their face, 
right? So the reverse hand is going to come up the center for here and then move to the shoulder again as the back foot comes in and turns you. I know it's a lot of detail, but those of you who have well practiced in this should be able to start finessing it in that way. <coughs> so let's do that a little bit slowly at first. <coughs> so uh, let's start in reverse Boken hands simply just because it's a good place to be. They could have a knife, you're not really sure. If, if your hands are up here and it's a knife attack, you're open to getting cut. So we're going to start here and imagine that you're coming in to um, do a uh, heel, uh, back, back heel hit, and then you're going to be turning over and out, right? So that's the lead hand is coming up and out, just like uh, Tai Sabaki, right? Tai Sabaki start really like this. We're going to start like this and come up and out. Similarly, we come up and out uh, with this, and then the the reverse hand is just going to slap their face, and they're both going to end up turned over. Uh, for the, the drop, and then we hook and do our sweep. So we're going to just break that down a few times just to give us a chance to finesse that. So ready, reverse Boken first, and slide in up the center. So reverse, hand to face. As the back foot comes in turns, they both turn over and come into this position. Now we can hook calf to calf, remember it's not heel to heel, it's calf to calf. We're going to be pulling their forearm away as we push their shoulder to the ground and sweep their leg. So again for the sweep, you want to be one of those people that can't bend from the waist, right? You want to be as much connected in a straight line as possible. Okay, same side, again Sliding in, coming up the center, back foot comes with, we turn out, drop back, hook, sweep, back up. Back up comes a heel to heel, just momentarily, so that your entire body is underneath you. So if your leg is bent, you're pushing up, almost like doing a squat with a, um, a weight. Um, so that way you can make sure that you're all the way underneath yourself. Uh, countering Uke's fall, right? Ready? Again, uh, reverse Boken, up the center, turn out, hook, and sweep. Again, up the center, turn out, hook, sweep. One more time like that on this side. Up the center, turn out, hook, and sweep. And then let's switch positions, right foot forward. So again, we're to exaggerate it, I'm going to turn my hip out as I hitch step in, which turns my shoulder out, which allows, and again, I'm going to, we're not going to do it this way, but a super exaggerated way, which some styles do, is they'll come in elbow first, and then they'll come out and around. We're not bringing your elbow up, but it is another way of turning that hand over. So the turning over is the turn of the hip and the back foot coming in and catching up, turning the body. Ready? Up the center, turn out, hook, sweep, back, knee, up the center, turn out, hook, Again, up the center, slap their face, remember, turn out, hook, sweep, back up, and back. Two more times. Up the center, turn out, hook, sweep, back up, heel to heel, and back out. One more time. Up the center, turn out, hook, sweep. Back up and out. Technically what's happening is, um, so you're in here, you're in nice and deep, you've got their 
wrist and uh, your outside hand and you've got their shoulder and the inside hand and when you do the sweep you're going to continue to pull that wrist out while you uh, push their shoulder to the mat. So I don't usually bother because again it gets really abstract and what, how they fall will really depend on where the other arm goes but if you really wanted to be accurate with it um, we would be in like this uh, this is the shoulder, this is their forearm, and we would hook and we would sweep and pull it out to the side. Um, but again, <laughs> we don't need to overcomplicate, we've already added some nuance to that. Um, so that's good, um, I like it, you're looking uh, really, really good there. Um, so that's our uh, Osoto from. Uh, Roundhouse, close the window, right? So what other places are there um, where we can do this or how can we do this from other attacks? So this is probably the most common one we practice. Um, but one of the ones, one of the places, I would like to do Osoto from lots of different places. So say for instance, um, we've come in and we've got uh, a Shihanagi going on. So I have them in Shihanagi like this. Now I can Oh, so to them from Shihanagi, right? Um, so that's a really beautiful and horrible thing to do to somebody. Um, so let's work a little bit on what if we wanted to do something like uh, that from a straight punch, right? We're going to work on our Ko Soto uh, from the straight punch, but first we want to continue just working with our O. Um, so if the straight punch comes in, right, we're not in that inside against their shoulder position that we just were, we're now more than likely going to be on the outside. I mean, yes, you can do this whole thing where you come to the inside and uh, try and get into that position, but, you know, why fight into that position when there's so many other techniques you would do without having to be in the inside like that. So one of the things that uh, I commonly do from the outside is parry. So we come in, we talk about holding our box, right? And so we parry them like this, and that parry becomes a big hip turn, which we can then turn into that elbow strike that I'm so fond of, right? So the elbow strike can put us into Osoto position really nicely. Um, so if we're in here, we have, I can't hold the box and their arm will drop, so I'll just hold up the one arm. Um, but we're in here, this is their elbow. I've kind of use my hip to parry them out a little bit so they're a little bit offline. Now I can drop trap and come in and throw the elbow. When the elbow gets there I can hold on to it, hold on to their shoulder and skip in with my Osoto and do uh, the sweep. So maybe this will demonstrate it better. Okay, it's here and their feet are in this position. Their right foot is forward because they've just stepped in and they've thrown a lunge punch, like a right step in and punch. So their arm is coming out this way. So I'm coming in. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing our, co our kosoto from out here. But we can come in, we can parry them, we can drop that arm and throw the elbow, hold on to their shoulder. Pull the arm out from their body, come in, and osoto that leg. So it's a really, it, the, the nice thing about this is that you have this super hip turn. You're coming in, parrying, hip out, coming in again, and then you can just follow that hip turn instead of following it to the ground like we often do in like doing that really big elbow throw. You can use that hip turn to bring your hip all the way through. Now you can hook and sweep. So it turns into, uh, again, we t we've been talking a lot over the past month about doing the unexpected. It's not what they expect. They might be resisting because they're expecting to be elbowed all the way down, and the next thing they know they're getting swept instead. So it's a really nice unexpected follow-up to um, the elbow strike. So I can just leave these uh, out here. And we're going to right, uh, left foot forward, we're going to step in, parry, sweep the arm, elbow strike, hook, 
and do our O Soto just like we just did. So that's an O Soto from the outside in the unexpected position, much like the Shihonagi O Soto. Again, hitch step in, Harvey with a big hip turn, hip turn back, elbow strike, grab the shoulder, hook, sweep, back up. Again, hitch step in, parry, reverse the hip turn, elbow strike, hook, sweep, back up. Okay, so let's just do it with a count instead of broken down. Ready, itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Teach. Hatch. Go. And J. Good. Okay, so let's switch sides. Right foot forward. And let me do it this way off the camera, maybe. Be better. And do it three times broken down. So hitch step in, parry, return the hip, elbow, hook in, sweep, back up. Back, hitch step in, parry, reverse the hip twist, elbow strike, hook, sweep. Back up. One more time broken down. Hitch step in, parry. Turn back, elbow strike. Calf to calf, hook. Sweep. And back up. Okay, so now with the count. Ready, hitch. Knee, San, She, Go, Look. Sitch, Hatch, Ku, and Ju. So, a couple of notes on this. Um, usually, when we practice this as just the elbow strike. We'll come in and I'll basically grab my hand and elbow strike like that all the way as far down. So my back foot is coming with and it's just enough so that I can put my knee against my calf and pivot and support myself. So the same thing here, you don't want to, like I was saying with the other uh, roundhouse or close the window so to you don't want to bring your foot all the way in because even though uh, it's a little different we're on the outside here right so we have a moment of weakness if we are side to side but we're parrying so we're leaning into it 
and as we turn away, you don't want to be like this, because you could be off. So you still want to be like this, and then, um, obviously you're going to be here, you can hook and come around. So, um, in this case we're not going to hold our hand, because the idea is that, just like with the other Osoto, we've, we've taken their hand from our parry position, and we've flipped it to the outside as we come in. So now, just like before, we're going to be pulling that wrist as we sweep and throw. So slightly different than our usual uh, version of it. And I just also want to point out that there's a version of this that I really like that doesn't involve sweeping the arm through, but involves coming underneath like this. So they come in, they punch, we parry them out, we come underneath, right, with an under their arm, because their hand is their arm is in our drop lock, right, so we've got it. We can come underneath it and uh, do a, just a, a punch, it's not a hook, so the punch isn't turned over, because then we're going to grab that shoulder underneath their arm. Now we've got their arm locked like this, and we can let it go with the other arm. So we're not going to really practice that here, because it's a little bit too abstract, and hard to realize where uke is, but it's a really nice version of it because you can basically go from here to here to here, right? So that punch can be just coming up to their shoulder and taking their arm. The, the whole thing that's nice about this is that now their arm is going to help lever them backwards as their foot comes up in the air. So both their arm and their foot uh, take them backwards. So, and once it's there, then you can also elbow their face as you go, right? So you've got their arm, arm is kind of in a lock, leg is going, and now you've got the elbow strike to the face. So when we're in dojo someday, we'll work on that, where we actually have people to do it to. Um, so let me see the uh, other version. I want to see you uh, come in, block, sweep the arm out, hook, and down. Now remember you do want a little bit of down on your elbow strike even though it's not really necessarily an elbow strike but you're still trying to push that shoulder down like this right so uh, we parry them we turn them out we come in like that and we can push that shoulder down so it's this motion as opposed to this you don't be pushing them straight back so even whether or not you use the elbow to strike, your arm is going to be going in that curved trajectory towards the floor. They're slightly turned, they're like this. We come in and as we sweep their arm out, we're basically like this across their body, right? You don't, uh, you don't need to go to here because you want to grab that shoulder as you hook and sweep. So it's not quite an elbow strike, right? It can become an elbow strike once you get the foot in, now we can allow that elbow to come up from below their throat to up their throat and under their chin. I want to move on to the Ko Soto. So again, for those who don't know, O is big and O is the one where we uh, take the calf and we do a big sweep. If it's on the inside, we do O itchy like that, we keep it on the ground, but it's still this part that's doing the sweep and it's a big movement of the leg. The ko, ko ichi on the inside goes like this. We come on the inside, we hook the back of the heel and we do this little curvy sweep. On the outside it's pretty much the same. We come in our outside foot hooks the back of the heel, and we sweep and push in the opposite direction. So, um, the most common way we do the koichi, we don't call it koichi, <laughs> we call it boom boom sweep. So, those of you who have been practicing boom boom sweep for years, um, might now know that it's called ko, ko soto gari. So, soto means outside, so koichi is the little inside, and ko soto is the little outside. They come with a straight punch again, just like before. And this time we're going to go 
deeper. We're not going to go elbow where we're holding our box. We're going to try and get all the way to the shoulder and onto it like that, which means that we get to the shoulder and our hand elbow drops below their shoulder. So we want to be able to hook their shoulder and bring it down and back, down and back, like that. So that's an impact. It impacts their shoulder and it goes down and back as our elbow drops. Okay, his elbow doesn't drop because they're attached to the ceiling, but in real people, their elbows drop, right? So we want to get in that deep to here, and that gets us, uh, this is their front foot, so we're able to be this deep and have our uh, blade of foot on the ground and our uh, arch behind their heel. Now we can sweep them in a curving push with their foot this way while pushing their elbow to the ground in the opposite direction. Again, Uke is incapable of letting me do that to them. Um, so how do we get there? We can just do what I just did and just launch ourselves all the way in. But that's a little reckless, right? We've got this arm coming for us and we're just going to dive in past it and presume we're going to miss it. Maybe, maybe we're that skilled or maybe they're that useless that we're able to get past it. But it's easier if you can move it to the side. So just like we were rotating it out by moving, doing the hip movement and our, uh, holding our box, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do what we call boom boom sweep. And I actually always complain about that because I think it's boom 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 sweep. Parry with our forehand and pass it to our reverse hand. So that's what I'm saying, boom, boom. We go boom, 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 boom. I'm coming sideways because I'm trying to catch it in the air, but it's really a drop trap, right? So imagine this is here. We're going to parry just a little bit, slide down it, and pass it into the incoming reverse hand. So we go boom, boom. Think of cycling your hands like this, right? So we go boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. So the top isn't just a slap down. We don't want it to go down. We want it to go down and out. So it's a really this motion. And as our hip is coming in with our hitch step in, same thing. We're parrying a little bit. So if we were really to break it down into ultra broken down, we would be, as we're sliding in and our hip is turning, we're able to parry it out a little bit, drop and trap, come on top. Let go, slide down as we come into here. Now we've arrived, we turn, hook, sweep, push. So if you want to practice that in slow motion anytime, that would be the way to do it. But there's basically this boom, 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 sweep. So, um, and, and it, for the recipient, it's to get Boom, right? They get that, then they get jerked forward by the trapping reverse hand. And as it gets jerked forward and they give a little bit of resistance, then they get, they get hit here. So in the direction of the resistance, which is that way, they get hit. And now their foot comes out from underneath them. Um, and when we actually work with a, a person in real life, you'll also find that you don't go straight back, but you go a little bit to the 45. And what you want to do is you want to instead of pulling their shoulder towards their foot and putting more weight on it, you want to rotate it out a little bit there to the 45, so there's very little weight on their foot, and when we sweep it, it's easy to sweep. Okay, that's all the technicalities. What we're actually going to do is, we're going to slide in, parry, drop, trap. So parry to the other hand and trap it, and then turn out, take the shoulder and hook the foot and then sweep. So I like to point at the position where they're going to go. They're going to go to the 45. So their, their foot is here like this. Their off balance is where their tailbone is pointing. So you're going to pull their foot away from the direction their tailbone is pointing and you're going to push their shoulder towards that direction. So they go Ooh, like that. Okay, so let's do it broken down just a couple of times. 
and we slide in partly to the reverse hand. We're going to take the shoulder, so there's a little hip turn like that, hook the foot, push pull. Uh, uh, push pull, That's, uh, they, they sound opposite. I'd say uh, sweep push, make it obvious which is doing the pushing and which is doing the. So it's a, it's a pulling, but it's actually, you know, um, it depends on your angle. If, if, if you're like this, right, it's the exact opposite of what we were doing with our uh, elbow. We're now pulling our elbow towards our body. Okay, so slide in, boom, boom, right, boom again, sweep, push. I should say, I'll say pull in this case, I'll say sweep, pull, because you're really just pulling them um, as opposed to pushing them. Like the inside Koichi Gari, we push. Again, slide in, parry, take it in the reverse hand, turn, hook the shoulder, and pull it down while sweeping. There you go, one more time broken down. We come in, parry to the reverse, hook the shoulder, pull it down, pull sweep. Okay, so in uh, in actual practice, it looks a little like this, ba -ba -ba -ba, like that. Uh, so one, two, three, and in if you really get good at this, it's one of my favorite techniques. You've seen me do it a million times, right? As they come in, you could almost fake it and just hook their foot and do a, a, a kosoto gari, a foot sweep. If you can get the timing right as their foot is about to touch the ground, if you can sweep it, they'll just go down and you don't even ever need to touch their hands. But let's not uh, pretend we're that good just yet. <laughs> so we want to make sure we get that hand in our control. So we come in, we parry it to the reverse hand, we hook, pull the shoulder and sweep. Okay, so let's just iterate that and we're going to go up, 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 like that, and back. Always remember that you have to come back, right? <laughs> you don't want to be stuck in this crazy position. Ready? Itch. And I do like to sing my rhythms out. Again, the San. She. Go, Rook, Seach, Hatch, Coo, and Jew. And let's switch sides. So three times broken down. Um, we slide in, we parry, we transfer to the reverse hand, we use that hip turn to take their shoulder, we hook the back heel, and sweep and pull. So depending on how deep you are, you do have to make sure that that uh, rear foot comes in and takes your weight from you. You don't want to be over here and then hook the foot because now you're throwing your weight back away from uke. So if I'm here, right, and I'm in deep enough to hook the foot, let's bring that foot forward a little bit, I'm in deep enough to hook the foot, but my other leg is still out here, as soon as I go to hook it, or sweep, I have to transfer my weight, I've suddenly taken all the weight off their shoulder, so you need to bring that foot in underneath you so you can sweep. So again, we come in, we transfer to the foot, we hook, shoulder down, sweep, pull. So again, in, in motion, we come in and we go boom, boom, boom. Just like be before the one foot can take over. If you were uh, in uh, Saturday's class, we we're doing that with the Koichi Gari. We come into the center and we almost kick the other foot out. Same thing here for the Ko Soto. We come in and we can let the back foot touch and transfer who's taking your weight, right? Boom, when we do it at speed. One more time broken down. Hitch step in, parry, transfer to the other. 
shoulder hook sweep and pull. Okay, so when we do that speed, we go boom, 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 and transfer that uh, weight to the other foot. So there's that little skipping action. Again, uh, itch, boom, boom, back, knee, boom, boom, ba, back, sun, ba, back, she, go. Look. Sitch. Hatch. Coo. And juice. Okay, um, so we're almost out of time. Um, there was one more version of it that I wanted to do, so I'm going to just. Uh, demonstrate it quickly and um, we can uh, are going to have a look and see how you're doing with that. So it's like how would we end up doing this if a roundhouse comes in we're like we're set on doing our co-soto and suddenly it's actually an osoto position and we're not ready for it or we just want to switch up for whatever reason. So we're coming in for our roundhouse we've done our close the window entry Maybe we're too far out, right, to get all the way, to get the entry. We'd have to jump all the way in to do the uh, osoto. So instead, we can windmill them through, right? So back of hand comes down, we push them through. And now we're in that position where we can come in and do the ko that I just showed you, that really nice ko. But it's also a great position to, uh, to do the o. Oh, now we can do the ko as well. So any time that you're in that position where you can do the outside elbow strike osoto, especially if you're underneath and you trap the arm, you're also in a position to do the ko. Right? So even if they come in like this and we parry them just like we did before and we do the elbow strike and we've got the shoulder, instead of skipping into the O, we could just skip in like that and do the co. Right, so pretty much anywhere you can do the O, the O so co. Instead of rear leg coming around and hooking, you can skip in and do the, the co, the little version of it. It's really just a matter of uh, making sure that you get the off balance. What you need to do is get in deeper by pulling that. It's a push-pull action. So this one actually retreats to almost like the uh, cut a gash position on your hip, it doesn't stay, you don't just parry it and hold it, you, you pull it. Um, so we're going to do some uh, jumping jacks. Ready, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rock, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rock, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, itch, Ni, san, shi, go, rock, sitch, hatch, ku, jo, itch, ni, san, shi, go, rock, sitch, hatch, ku, jo, itch, ni, san, shi, go, rock, sitch, hatch, ku, and jo, amen. And standing up, twist right. Left, right, left, and standing split for windmills. Remember to look at the ceiling each time and try and touch past your foot if you can. Ready, itch, me, sun, she, go, rock, sitch, hatch, go. Mitch, me, son, she, go, rock, sitch, hatch, go, jo, mitch, me, son, she, go, rock, 
Sitch, Hatch, Ku, and Ju. And Yame, come into Shikadach. Drop your butt, elbows on your knees. And breathe. Straighten up your legs. Chest your right knee. Itch knee san shi go rock sich hatch ku ju. Left. Itch knee san shi go rock sich hatch ku ju. Back to center, drop into a squat. If you need to put your hands down for balance, do so. Just make sure your heels are on the ground. And let's do some toe raises from here. Itch, me, san, she, go, ruk, sich, hatch, ku, ju. Hands on the mat. Drop your knees into caesar. Slide forward, no weight on your hands. Keep your butt on your heels. At some point you have to put weight on your hands. And stretch. And up. And back. Right. Left. Hands behind your head. Elbows to the mat in front. If you can, miss your elbows and touch your head to the mat. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Keep your butt on your heels though. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Ju. And flare your elbows and go sideways and try and keep the opposite butt on your heel. Itch. Knee. Sun. She go rock sich hatch ku ju hands down twist right left and up fist by your cheekbones and ready to do knee raises. So remember, don't bring your chest to your knees. Bring your knees as far up as you can and keep your back straight. Ready? Itch, knee, san, shi, go, rock, sich, hatch, ku, ju. Itch, knee, san, shi, go, rock, sich, hatch, ku, ju. Itch, knee, san, shi, go, rock, sich, hatch, Ku, ju, hitch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sich, hatch, ku, ju, hitch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sich, hatch, ku, and ju, yummy. Okay, twist right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And left. And shake it loose. Okay, into Caesar. 
and we're going to call that good for today. So mock so. So yeah, may. Now to get the gazette, Mr. And thanks again for joining me. I hope to see you next time.